Yes, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Shameless Football. Sorry, again, it's been a bit of a hiatus. Life keeps getting in the way with one of us, but we are back. This time, we said we were back last time, but this time we're definitely back. Henry Wright from Henry Wright TV. How are you, my man? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Looking forward to it. Another Premier League prediction show. Obviously, hopefully this time, touch wood. Fingers crossed we don't corrupt the file. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm all good, mate. I'm looking forward to it. Some tasty fixtures to get through. And, um, and yeah, I hope you're well too. Let's get into it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna skip not skip over, but kind of breeze past gently, touching on some of the boring fixtures and focus a bit more detail, I guess, on uh, some of the the ones that I don't know a bit more juicy. So we're gonna start off with the early one, though, mate. Uh, on Saturday morning, Fulham versus Manchester United. Um, look, both teams not particularly in good form right now. Um, depending on what happens in the Carabao Cup. By the time you guys watch this, you'll know the result. We haven't seen it yet. We're recording this on Wednesday. so um, But there might be uh, some more pressure on Ten Hag. How do you see this one going, mate? Yeah, I think Max Brennan's getting a lot of pressure, you know, aka Eric, 10 games. Um, I think this game, I actually think, will be a draw. I think nil-nil has got written all over it. Um, or a 1-0 full and win. Man United are in a very tough predicament at the moment. Yeah, they won a couple of games. They beat the likes of Copenhagen. You know, McSauce, a.k.a. Scott McTominay, got a couple of late goals and they beat Brentford. But, you know, you saw the class when they played Man City. They got beaten. And if mm -hmm. they lose against Newcastle in the Cup, only adds to the pressure. Fulham away is a tough place to go. Obviously, we've already lost there this season on penalties. We know that. Um, I'm actually going to go 1-0 Fulham, mate. I think they're going to lose this game and I think Vinicius will be the goal scorer. Uh, yeah, interesting, mate. Look, I think Fulham were Polinia uh, pulled them out, pulled a rabbit out of the hat in their game against Brighton. Good, good result for them after losing to Tottenham um, in their last fixture. I think they're going to go into it relatively, you know, like a little, with a little bit of a boost in confidence. But their form isn't great, and you never really know whether Fulham have got much up top. But I genuinely do think that Manchester United are on the brink of collapse. I think that the players aren't playing for a Ten Hag. I think that there could be some sort of little, you know, unrest in the dressing room. You saw Anthony shaking his head when he wasn't brought on in the 70th minute or whatever it was in yeah. the Manchester derby. He got given a couple of like courtesy minutes at the end, but and then didn't do anything. I think that I was gonna, I thought it'd be shameless going for a one-one draw, but you've stolen the uh, the biscuit on going one-nil Fulham. I think that neither team will have enough to to win this one. I think it'll be a a poor a game of poor. Draw is a safe prediction, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna go for, well. I thought it was shameless, but you feel you. you, you know, we, well, this channel's all about shameless. I'm going one 0 <laughs> United, man. Uh, one 0 Fulham. Sorry, one 0 Fulham to Henry. One one to uh, for me. I think that yeah, I think it's going to be a game where the football on display is not going to be great. But depending, as I say, on what happens during the Carabao Cup ventures, Ten Hag might be on very thin ice, and uh, something you love to see. If I'm honest, as a Tottenham fan. Um, Moving on, mate. Interesting one. London derby, East versus West. Brentford versus West Ham. Um, what's your what's your thoughts on this one? Um, I think it's going to be a very, very close game. Brentford aren't in great form. I think they've won one of their last six games, which was against Burnley. Um, Chelsea, actually, tell, a lie. Chelsea. Yeah. tell a lie. Then they beat Chelsea, didn't they? And yeah. they kept clean sheets in both games. Before that, on a bit of a tough run. I actually think, you know what? I actually think Brentford are going to nick this 2-1. They don't play cup, the cup game either. West Ham do. And then West Ham have got Europe afterwards next week or whenever it is. I actually think Brentford are going to win this one. Now, I'm going to go Bremo. Sorry, 2-1. Bremo, the goal scorer. But I think it will be very close. West Ham are a tough team to break down. Um, fairly solid defensively. Good midfield. Dangerous on the counter with the likes of Bowen and Ben Rama and you know, and, and very dangerous in set pieces. They're like some Ward Prowse and that, but I mm. think Brentford will make this 2-1 and I'm going to go Buemo as the goal scorer at any time. Yeah, he's in my fantasy team, mate. I, I think that, I, yeah, I, I thought Fulham, oh, Fulham, um, West Ham were dreadful against Everton. You know, Everton are a team that have been absolutely terrible for most of the season, starting to turn yeah. it a little bit. But again, they, they went to um, Upton Park or to the, the London Stadium and outclassed West Ham. West Ham have got Arsenal tonight. Yeah, they might be focusing on the Carabao Cup or they might be focusing, like you say, on Europe the week in, during the week next week. So I think that this one is going to be a little bit of an inconvenience for 
for West Ham. And I think that Brentford, like I say, yeah, uh, Brentford were, were, were pretty impressive the way they set up. Thomas Frank set them up really well against Chelsea and um, kind of did the did what you have to do to get, get a good result in the West London derby. I, too, am going to go for Brentford to get the points here. I'm going to go for 2-0. I'm going to go 3-0. I think Brentford will walk them off the park, if I'm honest. Walk uh, them off the park? Yeah, I do. I just think that West Ham have got a few distractions, and I think Brentford at home are a really tough, tough outfit. I'm going to go 3-0 Brentford. I'm going to go a brace. Is that your shameless prediction of the week? No, I've got more to come. I've got more shameless ones to come. Yeah, I'm going... No, I, I genuinely think... I'm, I'm not just saying this because I want to be shameless. I genuinely think the results that I'm saying are going to happen in the, the vast majority of the cases. And I reckon this one's a 3-0 <laughs> Brentford. And I think in Bremer gets the brace. And I think... Um, I don't know who's going to get the other one. A Yenelt. A Yenelt uh, header late on. Uh, so 3 0 Brentford. See you later, West Ham. Get yourself back down down to the uh, lower half of the table. And uh, yeah, just focus on your cups, mate. That's all you're good for. Um, next Burnley, up is Burnley no. versus Crystal Palace. Look, oh, don't really care about this one. I'll let you start, mate. Nah, yeah, I'm in the same boat as you. Palace can't <laughs> score for Toffee. Burnley, not a great side. I'm going to go 1-1, one, one, and I think it will be an awful game of football to watch. Do you know what? I'm going to go nil-nil. <laughs> I was going to go nil-nil as well. <laughs> yeah, I just can't. It's an awful game. Nil-nil, no goal scorer, Brexit <laughs> FC, stinky football. You know, I'd rather, you know, kick myself in the shin than watch this game of football. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go nil-nil, mate. Not an entertaining game at all. I, I think I'm going to go, look, just, just to be, create a little bit of chaos. I think Burnley have got enough about them at home. I think they're going to play football. I do. I mean, you're right. Crystal Palace are good defensively, but just uh, haven't got too much up top. And uh, But I think Burnley you know, might just find a way to get a result here. And I think they need, they start, they definitely need to start getting results against some of the teams where there's opportunities to if, um, if they're going to hang around in this league for anything more than one season for the time being. So I only go 1 0. Um, I'm going to go Coley Osho with uh, the the winner. I really like Coley Osho. I think he's a player that's going to emerge and become more of a household name in um, Coley Osho eh? in years to come. Just not a game uh, that excites you, is it? Not a game at all. Here's another one that doesn't really excite me. Everton versus Brighton. Um, Everton off the back of a really good result against yep. West Ham. Brighton off the back of a disappointing end to the game against Fulham. Yeah. Um, let, let's. I want to talk about this for a second, mate, because I think that there are two teams that are in a bit of transition. Everton started the season and were absolutely dreadful, couldn't get a result, and were looking like they were part of the the, far, the pack of four or five that three relegated teams were going to come from. They may still turn out to be like that, but they are starting to turn the corner. They are starting to get a little bit of form going. And Brighton, a team that most pe most people in the kind of you know that I was speaking to were having them up there in the European conversation this year. But they're starting to kind of have a fall on rocky times a little bit, not getting results, still playing good football, but the the points aren't coming as free flowingly and frequently as they were in these sorts of games last year. Um, I think Everton might might get a result in this one, you know. To you, um, Everton. Yeah, it might just be one of those uh, Sean Dyche. Um, I, th I think they're set up perfectly to play against Brighton. West Ham did it as well, where they went to Brighton and, and scored three goals. I think Brighton are in a bit of a transition because they've they've played a lot of teams off the park in terms of their football, but the results haven't gone to plan. And now they're sitting here with drawing to Fulham, beating Ajax in the Europa League, losing to City, drawing to Liverpool, drawing a, to Marseille, getting absolutely spanked six one by Villa, losing to Chelsea. They're not on a great run of form, and I'm I no. reckon Everton will win this two 0 Yeah, I think so as well, and I think it will look. I don't know how it will look, but... A Deutsch masterclass. Yeah, I, I think it could just be one of those. Uh, Everton are playing tonight against um, Burnley, funnily enough, in the Cup. Um, I'm going to go for Calvert-Lewin. I always like to think of Calvert-Lewin scoring. I think he's just got a nice little strong header in him somewhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll go um, I'll go 2-1 uh, Everton. I think Brighton might might be able to get one late, a late one back to make the finish interesting. But yeah, other than that, not uh, not the most exciting fixture. I certainly won't be watching it, but we'll find out what happens in the highlights. Um, next up, City versus Bournemouth. Easy day at the office for Manchester City again, Henry. No no real story yeah, here. Four, four, five nil this. I think City won't even... Nah, I reckon four nil. I reckon City won't have to get out of 
first gear, to be honest with you, mate. A former for one of the worst Premier League sides I've seen in a long time. Admittedly, they won their last game, which was against Burnley, but also Burnley are terrible. Um, yeah. City, whereas a training session against Man United, didn't have to get out of first gear for that, and they beat their rivals at the rivals' ground comfortably. I think City don't play tonight. They can rest rest up players, which is a rare occurrence for them. Yeah. Um, and I think Haaland will probably get a hat trick. I'm going to go four 0 with a Haaland hat trick. How about that? Are you putting it back into your FPL team? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely for this, mate. You know what? I messed up so much last week. I used my wild card or whichever one it is—the free hit, the one where you get to change your entire team around—and I took Haaland out. Just, just quickly, mate. West Ham have just gone one 0 up against Arsenal. <sighs> Things you love to see. Don't want to crow too soon on it, though. Um, I'm going to go Manchester City. I'll go 3-0. Uh, Should be a walk Harlan, in the park, let's be honest. Harlan 2 and Alvarez 1. Yeah, walk in the park. And uh, pressure will be on the other boys around them to see who goes on. Listen, this game, I've got five seconds in me to talk about. It looks like the worst fixture of the weekend. I'm going to go for a 1-0 Wolves victory and oh, I, you stole it. I was gonna go one i was gonna go um huang to get the goal as well <laughs> well you gonna go that. what are you gonna do instead uh, you can copy me if you want it's all right mate you can copy my brilliant predictions one nil wolves it is two nil wolves. two nil wolves okay yeah yeah i've got no no interest to talk about anymore i think it's just be an absolute dead rubber of a game boring boring wolves boring boring Sheffield united let's move on to newcastle united arsenal massive game one of the big ones of the weekend um for me mate don't know which way this one's going to go. Depends on which Arsenal turns up. Depends on which Newcastle turns up, obviously. It goes without saying. I think Newcastle at home are becoming a bit of a, uh, a force to be reckoned with. And look, Arsenal have played their best football this week, or the, sorry, this season, away from home generally. But Newcastle away is a place no one wants to go. Um, tough, tough fixture. What, what's your thoughts on it, mate? I, I think Arsenal in their game against West Ham have rested a lot of players. You know, no Hazel, I know Hazel is injured, but no Martinelli, no Saka, no Odegaard, no Saliba, no Raya. I think that, that being said, Newcastle are going to win this 2 1. Newcastle will get a lot of points this season at home. And I think. There's, there's, it was a little bit of a wobble in Newcastle. They drew to Wolves away. I think if they were to beat Man United today, uh, later on, that'd get I'd put a big spark. But I don't know, mate. I've got a feeling. Do you know what? I'm going two two Desmond. Okay. I, two, I'm going. This draw. is a shameless one for me. I'm going two nil, two nil Newcastle. I just think the Newcastle fans will be up for it, especially if they get through tonight as well. If they, if oh, they yeah, if, if they win think, tonight, that changes my prediction. You can't do that. It's not how it works. Okay, I'm going one nil Newcastle. <laughs> a shameless change, a shameless pivot. That's got to be done, mate. Yeah, I'm going two nil Newcastle. I just think that this will this will be the uh, the game that uh, when I look through Arsenal's fixtures and I'm like, where do they drop points? Even though you know sometimes they they, they flatter to deceive a little bit, but they find a way to get it done. Where are the places where Arsenal are going to drop points? If Tottenham, from a selfish perspective, are going to get away. And, and try to kind of at least hang around up there. Then I see Newcastle as a massive banana skin for Arsenal. I think they've got a big, strong team. I think they've got players that, are, that could easily put it on, you know, players like Odegaard, Ghost of Guard. I think that you there's just a lot of reasons for me in my mind why Newcastle United can, can win this game. And also, I'm going to be even more shameless and say they'll make it look comfortable. I don't think Arsenal will, will uh, appreciate wow. this, this opportunity, this, uh, this, this fixture. 2 0 Newcastle. And I'm going to give. Um, I don't, know, I don't know. So I'm not going to give. Callum, I think Callum Wilson with a bullet header, and I'm going to say a penalty. Yeah, a penalty. Yeah, because there'll, there'll be some there'll be some VAR nonsense that the Arsenal fans will latch onto to to defend their team um, shamelessly, and I, I respect it. But for me, a two 0 Newcastle. Um, would you go for in the end? One nil. All right, one nil. Callum Wilson penalty. Okay. All right. Forest Villa. Interesting Midlands sort of derby, oh. kind of Midlands derby. Um, There's only one winner. Point. Only one winner, is there? Okay, go on. Talk to me about it. 4-0 Aston Villa. <laughs> a 
straight up with it. <laughs> Four Forest is actually no. Four nil is incredibly harsh, and I know this is a shameless channel, but I just think Villa will walk the park, walk over them. That being said, Forest are very good at home. They are, and Villa are not as strong away from home, mate. Yeah, but it's they're in electric form, aren't they? They are in absolute. I think other than other than Tottenham, they're in the best form in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. Um, Unai is going to get a man of the ma um, a manager of the month award, and it's going to really irritate me. Um, and they're not playing tonight, are they? A Forest playing tonight? No, no. they're not. <sighs> Thing about Forest is they're missing out on. I think a, a one year is out injured still with a groin strain. I believe I haven't done my 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 yeah, research. And, and but I think he's still out for RB, a while. DRB and Watkins fully fit. Yeah, yeah. Two, two nil Villa. Yeah, okay. I'll go two one. I think Villa will have enough. Um, and it eats me alive to say it. But I do think that Nottingham Forest are, are one of those teams that are capable of getting a result, but I just don't think this one. I think Aston Villa's form and their momentum is just too strong. 2-1, um, and I'll go, go go for an Ollie Watkins, uh, Ollie Watkins and a Diaby. Um, yeah, next up, go both guys, Watkins. Luton Town versus Liverpool. Uh, this is on Sunday afternoon. Um, look, probably don't need to spend that much time on this one. Great, 3-0 three, three Liverpool. Mohamed yeah. Salah hat trick, triple captain him on your fantasy team. Get it done. It's happening. <laughs> I think I think Liverpool will blow these to smithereens. Yeah, I agree. Even though agree. they're playing tonight as well in the cup, I still think they'll blow them to smithereens. I don't see Luton Town scoring. I mean, just to be different, I'll say 2 0, but I think you nailed it on 3 0, to be honest. Um Yeah, they got they got the best goalkeeper in the world in Allison who could practically save the Titanic. I mean, that geezer could save a PDF on a calculator. You know, <laughs> he's that good of a key, but that's what he does. Uh, well, you got more metaphors. You've got so many metaphors. I'm going to call you meta fives. Unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. That's it, mate. I, I think, I think, I think, you know, they're going to walk the, walk the park. It's going to be walk all over the park. 3 0 Liverpool, Salah hat trick. All right. I'll go 2 0 just to be different, but I think you've got it right with 3 0. And then the big one, mate, the big one for us at least, uh, Monday night. Under the lights, probably in the rain. Storm Kieran's going to come down and have a word with the game. Um, look, this one could go either way. I think it's a bit of an unknown entity. I think Chelsea prefer to play against teams. They look better when they play against teams that play at them. Tottenham's best performances most of the season, I'd say, have come against teams that have come and played against them. You don't know what, how Liverpool was going to... You know, Liverpool was kind of ruined before it had a chance to settle down. So... Uh, but Arsenal was our best performance. Burnley was a good, really good performance. Most of the other teams we played against, and Man United as well, most of the other teams we played against in the uh, 10 so far have been low blocks and, and frustrating the life out of the game. But Chelsea, Tottenham, or Tottenham, Chelsea, for me, it has the potential to go either way. But ultimately, and I'm not even saying this shamelessly, I'm going for 4-1 Tottenham. 4-1. I'm, I'm generous giving Chelsea a goal on this one. I'm going 5-0. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm, I'm going to go 3-0 Spurs. 3-0 Spurs. I think we'll score three goals at home for the first time under Ange. Um, I think Chelsea, the plus they've got to play tonight, Chelsea. Yep. And that's Blackburn, but it's still another another minutes on the legs. Um, you know, if Brentford can beat them away, which we've only done three times in the last 30 years at win at Stamford Bridge. I think they're they're not a great side, mate. I think we'll I think Sonny will be on it. Um Madison will be on it. You know, bearing in mind we didn't we haven't played since last Friday. Which is that a good thing or a bad thing though? Good thing for me. Much because, time off? No, I think it's a good thing for me because players that are carrying knocks like Son and Madison, we your can doggy. put yeah. your doggy, you know, we can if we were playing midweek, uh, we may be in a situation where we have to force your doggy back into that eleven, which could then Damage the injury more. I think it's the best thing for us right now to have um, players that are carrying a knock to be, you know, can heal a bit more. Going against Chelsea, you know, um, two on Saturday, it will be three years to the day. Postacoglu's unbeaten at home. If we beat Chelsea, it'll be 53 games under this manager, which I think we will beat Chelsea. And then we got Wolves and uh, Villa and City coming out. I, I just don't, I look at Chelsea and go, the only, the only, I think their most dangerous player for us will be Mudrick because he has got ballistic 
him and Palmer, I think, will will cause us a few issues. But it's a matter. I think we've got enough firepower and enough quality in us to, to blow these away. I agree. I think Cole Palmer is a, a, a big threat. He looks like a giraffe with that size of his neck. It's ridiculous. Um, I think the doctor was like got stuck trying to pull him out on his uh, on his birthday. But um, yeah, look, I think it's going to be an interesting game. I don't know if Mudrick's going to be a fit. If he if he is fit, it, it makes it in, makes it more interesting. Um, him running at Pedro Porro, but yeah, I don't see anything else other than a Tottenham win in the end. I think that you know, yeah, I just don't see it really. Don't really see it. However. Stranger things have happened. And it, when it's Chelsea, you just never know. They always find a way to kind of yeah, raise their problem. game against Tottenham. Just quickly on that one, mate. Tottenham fans, what are you expecting them to do against Poch for Pochettino? Do they welcome him? Do they clap him? Do they boo him? Do they say nothing? Give him a little clap. Him? Thanks for your time. As soon as that whistle goes, I don't care about you, mate. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you joined a football club. Whether we didn't go to you or not, we, we didn't approach you. You, you join a football the, club the enemy. Yeah. that started, they start their games off singing, we hate Tottenham. You join them. Yeah, right? dead to me. Yeah, you are like, you, you, know, you know when you go and get a coffee, right? And it's coffee that's been sitting there for a couple of minutes and it's a bit like, meh, it's a bit warm. He, you know, cup of Nats piss. That's what he yeah. is. I, I think of it like a previous relationship, a previous girlfriend that you had one of the best sex relations, like sex sessions, whatever with in your life, you ultimately broke up because you weren't compatible, but he's ended up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> where those balloons come from? You ended up, uh, he's, he's ended up, or she, she's ended up going off and hooking up with one of your mates or one of your arch enemies or whatever. And then you kind of go, well, you always were looking at him. And so like, yeah, for me, nice memory, but now you're dead to me. And, uh, yeah, see you yeah, later. Uh, Adios. That's why I'll do that again, shall I? I don't know, I don't know what happened. That's, that's absolutely weird. I, I've got no idea how these things work. But <laughs> See you later. Right, that's it. Um, and then there's no more games. So if all those fixtures come in the way we said, then we will still be two points ahead of uh, Liverpool. Oh, sorry. F three points ahead of Liverpool, two points ahead of City. But Arsenal will be five points behind us. And Villa will be... There are thereabouts too. Interesting. Very Listen, interesting. Listen, just, just uh, have you seen the games they've got coming up as well? Villa. Who? Villa? Yeah. No. Have they got tough games? You've got Forest, Fulham, Tottenham, Bournemouth, and then it then we'll see how good Uno Amy really is when he's got City, Arsenal, Brentford, United, Everton, Newcastle. So are we'll you saying that, that Aston Villa could be top going into Christmas? No, I'm not saying that. I'm going to say we, we're going to see how good Aston Villa... <laughs> I know Naomi is one of the best Our Aston in Villa world. in a title race, mate. Our Aston Villa in a title race. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, they're not. They're not They're not in a title race. We've got too many games. But <laughs> we're going to see what this Aston Villa team is made of come December. Yeah. Just like we we'll Tottenham, Tottenham made of. Tottenham, yeah, exactly. We've got, we got a lot of games coming up as well. Interesting stuff, mate. Appreciate you. Where can people find you, buddy? Yeah, Henry Wright TV. Get over there, subscribe. Also, obviously, get over to Spurs Talk Show, subscribe to you as well. Um, and yeah. We'll see you uh, Tuesday. We'll, we'll try and get a video out. No, it'll probably be Wednesday because uh, we're both at the game Monday. So uh, we'll, we'll record. Unless we the... do something Monday morning. Reactions. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, okay. And then we'll get the video out for you on the reactions and we'll find out whether Henry Wright has closed the gap on me because I'm still tuning it up. Even though we're 10 weeks in and we've only done three of these, I'm still tuning it <laughs> up. <but. laughs> All right. As always, guys, like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, up the shameless. Up the shameless. <laughs>